here at Wembley, an ocean of fans descending upon the stadium for what promises to be an absolutely riveting FA Cup final. It's Manchester City, they face Manchester United, and it's live on EA TV. At long last, the wait is over. A warm welcome to Wembley. This is Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Stuart Robson, and we're approaching kickoff time in what promises to be a spectacular FA Cup final. It is Manchester City versus Manchester United. Well, Derek, as a youngster growing up, this was the day that every young footballer dreamt of, playing in the FA Cup final, walking out in front of 100,000 fans at Wembley, broadcast around the world, it still brings a tingle to my spine, and I'm really looking forward to this one. And a look at the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson gets the nod in goal. Kevin De Bruyne plays alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield. And the main threat in attack today should be Erling Haaland. The lineup for Manchester United. David De Gea begins in goal. Rafael Varane plays with Victor Lindelof in central defence. Anthony plays with Jadon Sancho on the flanks. And the responsibility of leading the line today goes to Marcus Rashford. Thank you, Wembley Stadium. Enjoy the game. And now they get the ball rolling. Gundogan. Grealish. Excellent use of advantage from the referee in City's favour. And space here on the flank. Oh, what an opportunity! Straight offside, but only just. <laughs> Rodri. De Bruyne. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. They're not giving him any breathing room. Lindelof Sancho Marcus Rashford in position and ready to strike and still a chance vigorous defending well it looks so promising but a goal kick the outcome Well, not many would debate the point that Erling Haaland is a joy to watch whenever he's out there on the pitch. But what should we expect from him today, Stuart? Well, in many ways, he's a throwback to the 80s in the way he plays. He's so strong in holding up the play. He can outmuscle opponents. Today, the defenders will certainly know they've been in a battle. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Sancho. And back with Bruno Fernandes. Well, it was a menacing attack, but tidied up. And the counter-attack is on, options available. Can they keep it going? Just cutting off the supply. Oh, it was a terrible-looking challenge, and a big decision for the official here.
and the referee does send him off. No arguments there. Well, no complaints really, but they need to reorganise now and quickly. A change in the offing for City. Interception to snuff out the danger. Gundogan. De Bruyne now. Mares. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Erling Haaland! Oh, there's the goal! That gives City the lead in the final! Will it prove to be decisive? Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. But I think the keeper's made a mistake here. While it's a decent finish, it should go in at that near post. Action underway once more. Let's see if United have the wherewithal to square the game. Ericsson and in the perfect position to read it Gundogan Holland Holland well it's great when you can rely on your keeper Anthony here's one Bisaka. Rafael Varan. Shaw. Bruno Fernandes has it. Oh, a nice looking pass. Can't miss, surely. Well, trying something slightly unconventional, but not close to scoring. De Bruyne. Mares. In the right place to cut out the pass. Anthony. Now with Rashford. Well, he really read that brilliantly. Well, City haven't lost the possession, as you can see. But that won't bother them, because when they win it in deep areas, they've got forward with pace and with numbers. It's been a great counter-attacking display. This could square the game. Oh, right in the nick of time. De Bruyne. This might be ideal for the counter. But it looks highly promising, but it came to nothing in the end. Bruno Fernandes. So nearing the half-time interval and United facing a deficit as things stand. Stuart, how would you sum up their performance in the first half? Well, they've not had quite enough purpose to their attacking play so far. It's all been a bit too predictable. But in the second half, if they can get more support to their strikers and play with greater intensity, they can certainly turn this around. And he keeps going. Well, didn't go to plan in the end. Wonderful challenge, and a throw-in coming up. And you've got to keep the ball a bit better than that. Might be a chance here. Well, the goal was at his mercy. Well, it certainly was. He has to score there. Mares. Manuel Akanji. Rodri. It's with Gundogan. Laporte. Gundogan. 
He's going forward well here. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Rodri. Holland. Laporte. Excellent use of advantage from the referee in City's favour. He'll be delighted to have won the ball having made that difficult challenge. Rashford, fine pass. It just needs to remain icy cool. Oh, the equaliser! Just what they needed. And the dream remains very much alive. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions. And in the 1v1, Fernandez makes no mistake. He never really looked like missing, did he? What a goal that is. Well, there we have it. We're at the halfway mark now, here at Wembley. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Well, that ball looks promising. Wan-Bissaka. Rashford in the middle. Oh, a goal! They're in the lead here now. Well, here it is again. And when you clear the ball, you have to get height and distance on it to give your defence time to readjust. They don't do that. It's a poor clearance and suddenly the ball's in the back of the net. So back underway in this game, Manchester United with the advantage. Rodri. Timing was perfect, ball one. The referee has decided to give the free kick decision the way of City. Might be able to produce from this position. De Bruyne. It's wholehearted defending and the concession of a corner here. And over it comes, and still dangerous. Priority was to hang on to the ball, which he did. Well, the stats don't lie. City haven't created enough going forward. They've looked toothless at times. They need a big improvement here. Yes, their creative struggles continue. They need more possession. Manchester United have lost the ball. De Bruyne. Rodri. Oh, he looks threatening. Mares! And there it is! The equaliser! Down to ten men, but showing guts and determination. 
Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. Bruno Fernandes. 30 minutes left for play. Real chance. Well, he was on his own. He had the goalkeeper to beat, but failed to do so. Well, he just needed to show a bit more composure there. Take a little bit off the shot, I think. giving it away Rodri now with Mares Mares and he read it well defensively United might be able to cash in. And let's give credit to the defending. Ericsson. Now Casemiro. Juan Bisaka. Casemiro. Christian Ericsson now. Aaron Juan Bisaka. cross really over everyone Lindelof Casemiro and the keeper taking it cleanly Riyad Mahrez Erling Haaland on to Mahrez very quick thinking there Bruno Fernandes on to Juan Bissaka this might have potential and will the cross work out for them it's an opportunity and the keeper getting across to stop it coming off the pitch number 26 Riyad Mahrez coming onto the pitch number 20 Bernardo Silva Played over. Well, not making life difficult for the keeper at all. A wide attempt. And United will switch things around personnel-wise. Now well, he's given it away. Gundogan. Ederson. Diaz. Manuel Akanji. Just ten minutes to go. Rodri. On to Silva. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. It's a good looking ball in behind. Rashford! Brilliant save. Oh, brilliant effort. But the woodwork getting in the way. Well, it's super skilled, Derek. He made such good contact with the ball. He just can't believe he hasn't scored there. Five minutes remaining, and level pegging here. Losing possession. Oh. 
De Bruyne. On the offensive, is there to be late excitement? Wonderful chance! Oh, he wasn't ruthless enough in front of goal. Keeper has it now. And time is of the essence. Corner awarded to Manchester City. And taken short. And played in. And it went sailing over the crossbar. Not a moment he'll want to remember. Fernand. Surely! Well, there is a fine goalkeeper in action. Well, you're absolutely right. That's great goalkeeping at a very important time. And now the delivery. Not all that convincing defensively. Not a chance for them again to play it over from the corner flag. Last gasp defending, but brilliant defending. Manchester City still on the attack as the minutes tick away. Can they come up with a winner? A chance to settle it. A wonderful save to keep it level. That's a wonderful save. He was so alert there. Kevin De Bruyne with the corner. Well, as a defender, that will sit you down to the ground. And making the run to the inside. Big chance! Palmed away by the keeper. They cannot be separated here, and it's on to extra time. go again the first period of extra time and it's legitimate to ask to what extent mental strength will come into this looking forward to it Manuel Akanji Ronaldo Silva oh that's a fine save and over comes the corner a deft clearance John Stones. Really vital interception here. Now can they counter clinically? Oh, he's through here. Will he? Well, the sheer audacity to chip it like that. Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against. And just look at the finish. That's a brilliant piece of skill and vision to chip the goalkeeper from there. What a great goal. Questions have been asked of Manchester City. Now it's all about their answers. <laughs> Silva. Effective challenge. Aaron Wan Bisaka. This is Varan. Juan Bisaka. United might be able to cash in. Manuel Akanji. That's 
chance now to dispossess your opponent. Bruno Fernandes. Plenty of support here. Great effort to keep that one in play. Ericsson. Rashford. Here's Ericsson. That's it. Half time in extra time. The second period still to come. Mares. Well, extra time continues. We're into the second period now. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Gundogan. Dias. Silva. Gundogan. It's a perfect challenge. And City get the throw in. Rodri. Now with Silva. And the cross smuggled away. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. Akanji. Routine for De Gea. Might be able to set up the chance. Oh, a powerful effort. Close. Here's a change for Manchester United. Still could be dangerous. Well, that's the end of that for now. Working really well as a team to regain possession. Encouraging stuff from United. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Well, no stopping him. And there it is, a penalty given and a chance perhaps for them to finish this off. Well, no cards handed out, but quite a few upset players out there, Stuart. Well, he's made a genuine attempt to play the ball, so penalty yes, yellow card no. To finish it as a contest. And there it is, perfectly executed. Well, here it is again, and just watch the keeper. He stands still, hoping it's hit down the middle. Unfortunately for him, he's got it wrong. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity.
Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. It's a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment. Full marks to the entire team. And now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy. They've been brilliant in this competition, and so have the fans. They've really got behind their team. They've played a big part in this win. Just look at those faces in the crowd. Great stuff. They're really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time. And now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, these photos will be cherished for years to come, won't they? Certainly ones to show the grandchildren.